What is up you guys? Is it Christmas? Is it your birthday? Who knows, but I'm uploading to YouTube again. I know a lot of people are going to jump ahead and say, where the hell have you been for the past six, a year, month, or six months to a year rather? Well, let me just jump straight into today's video and then I'll come on to that. Or should I do that first? Actually, I'll do that first. So basically, I've been working my ass off for the last four or five months and then I turned around and decided this is what I want to do anymore. So this is where I am and I wanted to pursue a career in graphic design and I was looking through some of my old templates. I've completely uninstalled Photoshop and Illustrator all in that time. And I was looking through it and I went, I thought to myself, why the hell did I give this up? And I sort of remembered the content got a little bit dry for YouTube. I wasn't enjoying it as much as I should have been, but after just sitting down and trying to enjoy it as much as I can, I've actually started to enjoy it. And I noticed throughout when I was working, when I had days off, when I would watch other people on YouTube, I would always sign in on this account because it's the only account I use. And I was like, why are people still subscribing to me, still commenting on videos, still liking videos when I've not uploaded for four months? And I thought, that's really that's really quite weird, but people have been finding it helpful, people have been asking me if I'm going to upload again, and I am. And the first thing I want to move on to is obviously 831 subscribers. That is pretty freaking incredible, considering 10 months ago I had 400 subscribers. And in the space of less than a year I've doubled what I had. So this is going to be me pushing out the grind up until 1k, and then we'll see what happens from there. Now in today's video I will be giving away an ultimate font pack. People have been asking me to do packs and re release packs because obviously I gave up doing the apparel stuff because I think I would pretty much done every single type of apparel that I could have done. And so with that said I will be giving away an ultimate font pack and let's move in to the video itself. Obviously now I've done that intro and the font pack itself is going to be full of helpful fonts when you first download Photoshop or you first use Photoshop it's a pain in the ass to sit on the font.com and find every single font that you want to use and have to download them via 7-zip or WinWar and install them one by one by one and that's incredibly annoying so what I thought I'd do is I took inspiration from another YouTuber's video where he had fonts and I deleted the ones I didn't think were necessary to this type of industry and I added some of my favourites like Levi Rebrushed, Orbitron, Sugeneris, other stuff like that. Stuff that people would actually use. And I put it all in a folder on my computer. I've just uploaded it and I'm actually going to show you guys how to download it and how to install the fonts yourself. And that's the end of today's video pretty much from there. People are going to be asking me what else is coming out on this channel. I might as well get this out of the way now. I have... I am working on an ultimate uh, apparel pack as well, where this is just me reskinning all the apparel packs I've done in the past and putting new ones in. Uh, I found it easier if people download the pack all as one than watch separate videos and download them one by one, if that makes more sense. So if you've ever missed any of the other uh, design tutorials where I've added templates in or the templates or the download links themselves weren't working. I've sorted that problem out and that's going to be all available in one big pack and then anything else that is too large of a size for the file because I wouldn't want to put everything in a pack and then make the pack file uh, 1 to 2 gig big because no one would ever have enough time to download that so this pack is about 350 megabytes and then the separate packs are 100, 200 megabytes so from there you can decide what you want to download so let's just jump straight into today's video and obviously I'm using Mediafire to download and upload so it's already uploaded here and I've uploaded my ultimate font pack as you can see it's 99 megabytes so it's not really very big at all uh, but TTF files are quite small which is a good thing so what you're going to do is obviously this will be a bit lie which then you'll just uh, link through if I show an example of what a bit lie is uh, if I use one of these which is going to be in the apparel pack so say the f um, 
folder looks like this. It'll open Mediafire by default. It'll prepare your download. Sometimes it'll ask for a uh, capture key. That's to prove you're not a bot. Just simply press the play button, wait for it to load what word you want to say, then type the word in and click authorized, authorized download. It's really quite easy. Now, before I start, to open all these um, all these sort of uh, links and stuff, or not links, files, you're going to need 7-zip, which you can easily get from Google. Uh, if I find that for you, you can even get 7-zip, which I think is a freeware. So it's open source, which means anyone can download it. You simply just go over to the download page, of course and you download whichever one you want, whether you've got a 32-bit Windows or a 62-bit Windows. Or, if you've bought it or you've cracked it for whatever reason, you can download WinRAR. I use WinRAR. Uh, I've not actually cracked it. It's available on the trials from RAR Labs. And it's the same as 7-Zip, they both operate on the same uh, sort of purpose. And you have like a 60-day trial, but after the trial it doesn't remove itself and it'll still sit there and come up, it'll say, look, here it goes, please note that WinRAR is a free software after 40 days. You just close that and that's it. You can still use it, it still has all the functionality. So, when you come to Mediafire, obviously this is my upload page. You want to click to download, obviously this is going to come over and download. Here it is, where I've just uploaded it. So it's 99 megabytes, as I've said. You're going to click the download link. It's going to download on your computer. And it's going to take depending on the internet between five six minutes obviously mine's quite slow because I've just sat and downloaded gigs worth of files to then rehash into a, another a power pack so I'm just going to cancel that because obviously I already have it on my computer so here it is if it was on your desktop you double click that as it would be and all the files are in here like this you can see I don't know what's happened there. And in total, there is over 2,000 fonts, I think. 2,000? Yeah, I think that's accurate. 2,000 fonts, which is pretty incredible. So instead of sitting here and going and dragging the cursor down, the benefit about WinRAR is that you can sit and you can select all. So once you've selected all, you can go and extract to a specific file because if you just drag it straight into your desktop it's just gonna put all those files across your desktop and unless you've got like 99 monitors it's gonna be stuck over the edge, it's gonna be annoying to have to go back and delete them all so you're gonna wanna extract to a spe specified folder so this could be anywhere that you want anywhere at all uh, I'm gonna put mine on my desktop simply because I wanna put it on my desktop Obviously I've already got all the files here, they're in a new folder, but I'm going to create a new folder for the sake of creating a new folder. New folder inside a new folder. I'm going to click OK and it's going to go and extract all these files. And you can see it's not going to take very long at all. It's going to take a minute, if that. And you can choose to put it on background or you can just choose to leave it out on the desktop itself. I'm going to choose to leave it on the, out on the desktop because it's not really going to take very long. And this is quite easy actually. Uh, the way that the TTF files work because once you've, I will show you at the end uh, what it's used for. It's used for all of the Adobe's, it's used for Windows, uh, not Windows, Microsoft Office. So it's really quite useful and then any ones that you want to use that aren't in here, you can go to, while well, this is finishing off, you can go to thefont.com if people didn't already know that this was a font website. And once that finishes loading, if it finishes loading, we shall never know. Nope, it doesn't want to load. Nope, sick. Great. Oh, nope, oh, oh, what's gonna, what's gonna load? Oh dear. So, obviously I'm gonna show you the font quickly. Unfortunately my internet's not fast enough to keep up with itself, which is just great. Load Google, thefont.com. And this is the font itself if you are unaware of what the font is. If you know what it is you can skip the video if you like. So these are the recently added fonts. Uh, what finishes load. And obviously you've got all these ones up here. And what you might want to use. 
and you just simply download it and it'll download as I said as a zip or a WinRAR and then you just do the same process as you're about to do now so once I'm in here I can go to my folder where I've extracted it on my desktop obviously to my new folder and I've got all these TTF files all the fonts these are all fonts so what if I want to install those obviously I can't select all like I would do on here instead of dragging your cursor down all the way you can simply hold control and A at the same time and I'll select all of them then you want to right click over any of them you'll come up with the administrator logo and you want to click install and this will install or reinstall every single font obviously as you can see there are 2202 fonts I've already installed them all so I'm not going to do that again no but it's going to install all the ones that I don't have or have and there is 2002 or 2202 fonts installed and if I go over to Photoshop if I just obviously it's just default background and this is a new CC 2015 model if I click with the type font and I can type the type something okay so here we go and then obviously all these ones that I've just installed will all be available on here I'm not too sure why my computer's playing up today but it just is so they're all the fonts that I've just installed and they're all there now guys if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like uh, it would be really appreciated um, subscribe if you're new and I will be uploading the ultimate apparel pack uh, tonight and then I'll be working on an apparel tutorial later on this week uh, but that's pretty much it so hopefully you've enjoyed this hopefully you find this useful uh, as I said likes comments they're very much appreciated if links aren't working please comment uh, private message me if you're having any problems or write a comment and tag me in it uh, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see ya.